ding, 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 you. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm here with my model, Emily, and my good friend, Nora. Hey, guys. Who's our global artiste. We are so excited because it's rare that we get a virgin client in our chair, right? We love a virgin. But when we do, it's like, huh. Oh. Unicorn. Right? They're so rare. So Emily has a natural level six. So take a look at that routage. Take a look at her mid shaft and her ends. She has a lot of hair, as you can see. But it is, you know, a level six. And we want to bring contour, highlight, movement. Contrast. Yes. You need the dark to see the light. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques that I've been doing for years. It's called Stardust. Psh! Because <laughs> you just dust it on the hair and it's kind of like a star pattern. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. We are going to use Magnum 8. I love the consistency. Let's do a, a good 60 grams just because. 60, 60 is a good, nice round number. I also want to share with you guys, I am debuting my man pony. This is a debut. This is a big deal, okay? I've had short spiky hair for years. I had a mustache and goatee for years. And everyone freaked out when I shaved my face. I was like, oh, grow your facial hair back because you need to look like a man. And I go, wait, what? I don't look like a man unless I have facial hair. It was, it's a thing, it's a thing, I know. Shocking, right? But I, I go, you know what? I want to grow my hair long because I want to have long hair. And I just want to perm it. And I just want to... <laughs> and now you realize it's a lot of work for those of us that do have long hair. It is a lot but of work. But really quick, I just wanted to point out, I use 30 volume, um, dedicated developer, one to two ratio. And now we're gonna add some magic. Yes. The guide Tang, my identity, my Hero Collagen Powder X Booster. This is important, guys. You add this into everything. It ensures that, you know, we don't cause any damage. The thing is that, Obviously, we have amazing products, we have amazing techniques. It's also how we mix the developer, but it's also nice to know we're going in with a seat belt, a condom, a shield. a shield. So since we have 60 grams of lightener, we're gonna go boom, two scoops. And I love that it does not change the consistency of the product. Absolutely, it's exactly as it is. You wouldn't even know it's there. It's like an invisible shield there. Invisible but, shield. Yes, I love an that invisible word. Invisible shield. When we're doing a back combing technique, what I like to do is use our New My Thick Body Texture Spray. It's a bulking spray. So I'm just gonna spray this on. This is one of my favorite things to use when doing a back combing technique on anyone who has very slippery hair. So I'm gonna divide Emily's hair into four quadrants, starting at the apex, which is the top of her head. And then we're gonna divide the parietal out of the way, and Nora is gonna clip that out of our way, okay? And then divide the back in half. There's multiple ways to do this. Sometimes I do this as I go. I find that it's easier if I start doing a zigzag as I go in and just clip it out the way. So it keeps everything cleaner so you could trace your pattern. So what I do with the pick of my comb, I'll start here and I go very deep. You almost draw into the scalp. So that way we have some highlights going through. So this would be considered the natural that falls over the highlights. So this is what I'm talking about. You're using the highlights to create, you know, almost like motion and contour. Less is more, you don't want to over highlight the hair because if you over highlight everything, it'll be too much. So we're going to clip that out the way. That's the piece that we won't be highlighting. We'll be highlighting everything under here. And I want you guys to see the zigzag section. So look at her, her scalp here. You can see the zigzag pattern. And then when I lift this up, I want to mimic the same zigzag that I have above. And you can use this technique for balayaging as well, but this one, we're going to use it for back comb and foils because we want the highest contrast as possible. You don't want to highlight everything because if you highlight the bottom and the top, it's overly done. Leave the bottom natural, leave the top veil natural. So it's almost like a sandwich. So I'm actually going to turn uh, this away because for once in my life, I just want to showcase my left side, which is my good side. <laughs> All right, so you can see she doesn't have much layers. So the situation is this section would be way too thick. So what I want to do is you can either choose to divide it into two. Let's try to do it with just one cushion of a go and see what happens. So I'm going to elevate the hair up 180. Hold on to the length. Right, so, so anything that's shorter can get pushed back. Here. And notice how you're holding it with your two fingers and you're not pinching it together. It remains one flat panel. 
Exactly. And this is how you push any short pieces back. And then now I'm gonna hold it at a 45 degree angle and just do one more push. So the key is, it's just one push. You see your hair. The section is a lot finer, so you get to see through it. And this is the key point to get even highlights and lift inside internally. So I had Nora paint on the long foil and we're gonna put the hair right on it, like a flat panel. And with our amazing rose gold brushes, you guys, which has a jagged bristle, helps me feather the product onto the hair. And you guys, I, we did choose to use 30 volume because it's away from the scalp, the routage, which is where she has a lot of heat. So this is considered the cold shaft area. So it's not gonna get as much, like it's not scary as you think. A 30 volume is not scary. So that's why like, you know, oftentimes when we do highlights near the scalp, like a baby light, we usually do 10 or 20 volume. But when it's off the scalp, you have to think about how you're, um, you need a little bit more power. But you see how easy that is? We only have four. So literally one, two, three, four per section and you're done with the whole back section of her head. It's that easy. And everything's already been clipped out the way so you get to see her zigzag here, see that? This zigzag ensures that you have no demarcation line. This is why I always opt to use the back combing technique. Um, I know there's so many other techniques that have come about with blow dryers and all these things, but this has always been my go-to because it works, it's easier. Faster. Faster. <laughs> yes, long foil. If you get any roping, just use your comb and slightly pass right through that hair and it allows the hair to lay flat to the foil. We're gonna spin her back so you guys get to see how we finish off her back. Okay, what I like to do, just for incubation purposes, just so it almost become like, her head becomes um, like a sauna, if you will. Mm -hmm. Trap the heat in because now all of the length is extending so far from her, from her body. And what I hate is when it's cold down here. And I'll say, you're like, why is the ends yellow and everything up here is white? You know what I'm talking about, right? Absolutely. We annoying? need to use her natural body heat to create the warmth to give us that lift. We need the incubation. So I could definitely feel the foil being cold down here. So I'm just gonna clip that up out the way and put a bag underneath to just trap all the heat inside. So now that's one side. I'm gonna grab another bag. I'm gonna put a bag over her head. Okay, hold on. And would you say that if they don't wanna do this, if like the hair's too long or heavy, they could use a heat lamp and just try to hover yeah. from a distance? You could use a heat lamp um, as well, uh, if you have that. I love that. But in this situation, we don't have a heat lamp here. We don't. We don't. So I'm gonna use her own body heat and this is my favorite way of doing things. You guys, you don't understand. If you're working in a salon situation where there's like vents, like air conditioner, like shooting right down the hair, you're not gonna be able to get lift and performance. Just make sure that everything is in proper room temperature. It's not too cold. Don't let your client go outside and you know do a little cigarette in the snow. Cause I've, I've seen that where they're outside in the cold. It's like, girl, you're not gonna get blonde like that. Okay, so you can see that she has a very fringe type of situation. And it's hard to foil this because the hair is a lot shorter. It's hard to back comb it. So remember to use my thick body. Okay, this is gonna give texture to the hair. You don't want to over highlight this and you don't want to ignore it either because you have all these highlights everywhere. Then all of a sudden you have this like little helmet of a bang to collapse right in the forehead and you're like, there's no dimension there, there's no movement. You have to connect it somehow. And this is the way you're gonna connect it. So you're gonna do little zigzags up on top to create its own little uh, sandwich, if you will. So this is gonna spread out and diffuse everything. Okay, so when you get in close here to her scalp, you can see the zigzag sectioning in her hair. So I'm gonna work off of the zigzag. And remember, you wanna keep a little bit of the dark hair underneath here too. So don't highlight that. Otherwise, her forehead will blend in with her hair. She needs depth, otherwise you have blonde bangs on top of forehead. All of a sudden it's like, it looks like her forehead's like a six head. I'm gonna pack Magnum 8 onto her ends and with the amount of product, I'm just gonna feather it up. Yay, we're done. We're gonna let her process for 45 minutes. Don't you move a nipple hair. 
and we'll be back. It's been 45 minutes, and we're gonna pull out her foils to see how light she's gotten. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Look it's at that even gorgeous. Blend. See, that's right. what I'm saying. It doesn't even need to be toned. It's so perfect. You're right. It's so perfect. The same exact color from roots to ends. All right. So we actually blow dry Emily's hair, so you get to see how beautiful and how light her ends got. So take a look at those ends. And take a look at how, when she turns to the side, how that color blends. From having that veil that comes over and just going inside that sandwich to create that internal highlight is so beautiful. Now, the fringe part, you can see I took a risk. I want to make sure that we had blonde in there. So there's a little bit of subtle demarcation just in through there. But I took that risk because I was like, ah, oh, is it enough? Is it not enough? But I know I could shallow root it in with our Express Toner, right? So that being said, this is an amazing time for me to talk about our flavoration. Actually, this is a great time to talk about how perfectly lifted she is. So take a look at the swatch page back here. This is the underlying pigment swatch. So you can see that she lifted past yellow as she hit a level 10. So you can see right there her ends hit a level 10. I want to show you guys a little bit of our flavoration we're going to go in with. I'm going to use Sandstorm. All right, so this is full concentration. It has a pigment of level nine. Mm -hmm. So that's why I choose to put it right here to diffuse her fringe, just right there near the routage area. And then on the rest of her hair, I'm gonna use our pearl. So pearl mixed with crystal clear. Now crystal clear, keep in mind guys, crystal clear is no pigment. This is crystal clear right here in the ends. So it's gonna shear out that pearl that you see right in through here, that pearl. So that way it will soften the color so it doesn't go too dark. And it's going to neutralize a little bit of the warmth. So remember, anytime you're neutralizing a color, it will always appear a little bit darker because it's a cooler tone. You guys, we're going to go in with Sandstorm first, all right? So I'm going to use half of this tube, okay? So we're going to go in with 30 grams and, of course, one to two ratio of six volume dedicated developer. And the way I mix this, guys, is for every 30 gram of color, I'll put one scoop of the My Hero Collagen X Protective Booster in. Now, keep this in mind that it's not how much color with the developer that are mixed together, it's how much color from the tube. We're not calculating the developer. The developer, right. Don't include the developer because I know math, it gets a little crazy. Like, I'm horrible with math. Me too. But for me, I know. I, you know what someone said? I posted that I'm horrible at math and I said, but you're Asian. I was like, oh, that's a stereotype. So you're going to stereotype me? So I'm supposed to be good at math? But that's a good stereotype. Yeah, but there's other bad ones that come with it. I know. And I like to like go, no, that's not true. Okay, but we'll take the good ones. All right, so anyway, so make sure you put one scoop of My Hero Collagen Powder Protective Booster in. It doesn't matter if it was before, after, during your color mixing. Just put My Hero Collagen Powder in there. It needs that protective boost in your color regardless. So just put it in there. The next formula we're gonna do is pearl. So I'm gonna mix pearl and clear together because I don't want to overtone her hair. That if I use pure pearl, that her hair might end up looking so ashy and muted that you won't see the impact of the highlight. I actually like the brightness of the highlight. I just want to cool down just a titty bit of the, the warmth. Just a little bit, just a titty. So one to two ratio with dedicated six volume developer. So I'm gonna add my Hero Protective Booster Collagen Powder X in, all right? And I'm gonna mix her up. So Nora's going in and tackling the routage area to blur in the demarcation line. All right, so we just got done rinsing out the sandstorm after a process for five minutes. We create that nice little shadow transition. I'm gonna have Nora kind of just pour the Pearl Express Toner Crystal Clear over her whole head. So we get to kind of like massage it through, just like so. Slow down, Nora. Slow down, girlfriend. I'm, I'm getting really excited. Just like that. And then that's it. We're going to let her sit for five minutes and we're going to rinse this out. Just massage it throughout. And what I love is that you get to really monitor and see the hair get toned. But adding that crystal clear in ensures that we don't overtone. I think that's the worst is when you overtone, you go, oh my God. All that hard work. Yeah, that's why, you know, it's, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Just go in and add crystal clear to just ensure that we don't overtone the hair. And I have to say, I love the way it smells. 
That's, I know, right? It smells like lavender. It's like you're in a spa. Well, that's when you mix it with a dedicated developer. <laughs> well, I follow those rules, so. And please follow the rules, guys. Don't make life any harder and try to like. Then you'll get dependable results every time. Yeah, you don't want to take shortcuts. I feel like a lot of people these days just want to take shortcuts in life, but sometimes there's a reason why that shortcut isn't gonna. But it's not really a shortcut because it's gonna actually cause a problem later that you're gonna have to spend more time fixing. Have you ever, okay, I'm sure most of us have encountered this before, but like when we're driving and someone's trying to speed up around you and cut you off, and at the end you both end up at the same stoplight. At the light. same traffic light. Right, and, yeah. then, and then you like look at them, and you like look at them, it's like, yeah. Like, was it worth the rush? We're yeah, still really? in the same place. We're in the same place. I'm sitting here chilling. You rush it. Could have caused a car accident. Mm mm. Nah. -uh. All right, guys. So I can see that her highlights are definitely toned down quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and rinse it out right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. And I like to take a look. I see that it's all icy, so there's no sign of warmth. So that's a good sign. So if you definitely like cool tone highlights, the Express toners are no joke. Titanium, Pearl, Misty Mauve, Sandstorm, it controls all the warmth. But we also have Golden Sand if you need to enhance the warmth because sometimes if you have clients who you need to bring the warmth back to, definitely do yourself a favor, get golden sand, y'all. All right, guys, this is the final reveal of Emily's beautiful Stardust highlights. You guys, look how beautiful those highlights are on her ends. Pearl and clear express toner, like in less than, literally, less than five minutes, our express toners are no joke, okay? Like, literally, you see it change like within a minute, if not less. The color is so pigmented, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and her hair still looks so healthy from the collagen booster powder that we added. Right? But I'm over here looking at how her color blend with the technique. So you see the stardust, you see some of her natural color kind of breaking through and some of the highlights shimmering through. It looks natural. It does not look done. And I love this because it's minimal like work. You know what I'm saying? You get yeah. maximum results with minimal amount of work because you didn't do the whole head. But the crazy thing is you guys saw me leave the veil out on the top. But look, you can't tell. You're, it's so diffused. It's so diffused. You can see some of the highlights here, but look, there's no chunks, no lines of demarcation whatsoever. Her fringe look amazing. You see the blonde popping through, but yet... It, seamless blend. Seamless blend. I'm obsessed. Gorgeous. I love it, and it looks super natural. It looks like do I you? just naturally have amazing hair. You do have amazing hair, first of all. But, but not quite this amazing. But now you're extra amazing. And you guys, you have no idea. She's like, she's been so calm and poised. And it's like, this is what she needed, okay? I'm gonna make her get up. You're gonna get up, girl. My superpower. Gonna take you higher. My superpower. Gonna take you higher. My superpower. The cape is off. She's looking sexy. She has a little pop of color in her shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love this placement so I do much. I too. I just love how natural it looks. Me too. You guys, I hope you try this technique in the salon. Use it on your clients. Tell me if you like it, okay? I mean, how often do you hear that you lighten the hair and it feels healthier after? Seriously, guys. Try My Hero Collagen Protective Booster. It's gonna change your life, trust me. I am happy, I'm happy with the color. She's happy and I love my man pony. So <laughs> I'm feeling good. Subscribe, thumbs up, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, comments below and download my music and my album, More To Me, on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, everywhere. Okay, my music is gonna change your life and I'm gonna leave you guys here with my latest music video. Hit it! Psh!